Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry designer page where you will find all the patterns I have available for you to get and knit up something beautiful for yourself. Also in the description below, you will find a link to the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group. I would love to have you come over and join us where we can continue the conversation that we started here on the YouTube channel. And for today's video, the description below will be chock full of links to all of the patterns I am going to talk about because today is a Fave 5 video. What my Fave 5 videos are is me picking a subject, uh, a, a guideline, something, a category, if you will, of knitwear, and then looking through Ravelry, gotta love browsing Ravelry, and picking out my five favorite patterns that fit that theme. Now, I am not saying that these are the absolute best ones, like this is the best, I'm not gonna like fight you for it, but these are the ones that when I was looking really grabbed my attention and I really liked and thought, man, this one looks like a whole lot of fun at this moment in my browsing history. Um, all of them are beautiful and I really like using this opportunity to help you maybe find some designers you haven't stumbled across because there's so many amazing designers out there doing incredibly beautiful work. Now, the theme for today is crowns. Now, I should have gotten my tiara. I have a tiara, you know, but it's probably packed away. I'm not talking about like an actual crown. I'm talking about the crown of a hat. The way that hats are constructed, you know, at the bottom, they're of the correct circumference to fit around your head, but most people's heads taper as they go up and your hat actually has to close at the top. And that portion of the hat that is the decreasing or the changing in circumference down to a closed loop is called the crown of the hat. Uh, hats can be net knit in the round, either bottom up, which means you're decreasing to the crown, or top down, which means you start in with a circular cast on and open up to your size. There are also many other ways. There are ways of flat and short rows and all. If there's a way to construct a hat, someone has done it. Uh, all of the ones I have selected that it wasn't on purpose are all worked in the round. This first one is the only one that is worked top down. Um, I personally love top down hats and you can achieve some very interesting things with the uh, effect. And this is called Rota. Ruota by Heather Zapetti, and it is a top-down beret or tam. It's intended to be worn um, more flat, so you get like a pie plate effect. Um, they're super cute, and that gives this huge palette or uh, canvas to have this absolutely beautiful lace pattern. I mean, look at this. It's it's just gorgeous. I love the star pattern. It Then it's got that real, it, it got the swirlies, and then it's got the little intricate stuff where the things come together. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I thought it would be the right one to just kick things off. Um, it is knit in Stitch Sprouts Yellowstone, which is a sport weight yarn. And let's see, on a US size five, uh, and it takes 285 yards. So just one skein. Um, and again, it begins in the crown and then swirls out until you get a ribbing that is what holds it on your head. I have no idea what rota means, but I am sure Heather had something very interesting in mind when she selected it. So this, I just think it's a beautiful way to wear a piece of lace uh, on your head. <laughs> it's like a tiny version, you know, I often see shawls as just a way to wear something beautiful and lacy. This is a totally different uh, way to do that same thing. Um, and it's a tam, they're not particularly designed to keep you like terribly warm. It's not like it's a toque or something that's supposed to go down around your ears. It's more, 
decorative, but beautiful. So this is Rota by Heather Zapetti. Now, the next one, this one is a simple color work. You, you get a lot of color work in hats because color work is easy to do in the round and it's a smaller format and easy to show off some fun, intricate stuff. But this one is a more bare bones type of color work because it's really only striping. This is Vestige by Hunter Hammerson. And just look at this crown. I just love the way it's got the concentric circles. And what this looks like is that it's really fairly simple with a stockinette base. And then you do a contrast that has a slightly fancy stitch. It looks like that gives you that fun ridge. Maybe it's slip stitches. I'm not really sure. You'd have to get the pattern to figure it out. Um, let's see if she says anything about it. She says, pick a color base and then pick a contrast color. You're not gonna use a whole lot of yarn to do this. She said it's really good for uh, working out your scraps. I mean, I could even see it being super cool if you had a bunch of scraps doing each stripe or several of the stripes in different colors. I don't know, it looks like super fun. It comes in multiple sizes, four sizes. There you go. And it also comes with instructions on how to make cuffs. But what I am focusing on here is this ever so cool crown. I love that it's the concentric circles. I just love crowns. I think they look, they're so much fun and it's very different than what you do in a lot of knitting. Also, you can't see it in this picture. It has an interesting brim on it that's in the contrast color, like a wider band of whatever this fancy stitch is. It is work, she did it in Malabrigo Rios, which is like worsted weight, so it's heavier weight yarn. Um, it should knit up fairly quickly. She's done size four, that's interesting. That means it's fairly knit fairly densely. So this will keep you warm. <laughs> But so Vestige by Hunter Hammerson, I think this is a really fun way to get into like the shallow end of doing an interesting crown. It's not gonna be too complicated for you, but the the decreases that she has here are worked in so seamlessly that you get that effect. It looks really cool. Okay, next up we have Star Garnet from Triona Murphy. I just think this thing is stunning. It's beautiful. This again is worked bottom up in one color and she used twisted stitches and cabling to create this intricate, just stunning crown. I just love it. It looks beautiful. It's on a background of reverse stockinette and the reverse stockinette makes those twisted stitches and cables really pop up off the service. And it's beautiful. I really need you to go in the description below and click through so you can see this soul, this hat, the, all the pictures, like see it from the side because it starts out with a, a bigger pattern on the side and then gets smaller and then comes together in this intricate knot that she has on the top of the head. And it's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and this hat is all about the crown. And that's what I said. I love crowns. Um, it's really fun as a designer because you can either make use of the increases or decreases in a very structural way, a, a visible way that it's the design element or and that's fun and a challenge, or you try to work in those increases or decreases in the most invisible way possible so you cannot even see. And you're like, how did they do that? So both challenges are fun. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm so in love with crowns. And seeing a designer take the time to pay the attention to the detail in the crown and create something beautiful and interesting is what kind of got me inspired this month. Okay, so that's Star Garnet by Triona Murphy and it's just absolutely beautiful. And actually my understanding is this is a part of a series. She already has one other where it's jewel inspired. So definitely check these out if you like this pattern. This next one had to go full on cables. Before that was more of a thin twisted uh, stitch kind of cable. These are just full on cables. This is by PVP, which stands you know, this one got me. You know me and my gamer stuff. PVP stands for player versus player. When you are actually uh, gaming and playing against the other player as opposed to be trying to beat the game. I just thought that was funny. And what this is, is it's again a bottom up. So that means you cast at the bottom and work up and the, the decreases are what is forming the crown. 
and she's got two different types of cables going on here. Um, there's, you can see the main one that comes in and then there's something in between them that's sort of doing this bit. There's just so much going on, but she brings it all together at the top in this amazing whirlpool of cables. I just think it's beautiful. And it's one of those things where I wish I was tall so that I could see the tops of these on people's heads. Um, it's just beautiful. And that's one of the things that makes the, the um, Tams really cool because they're meant to be worn back like this and you can really see it. But this one is super cool. I love the cables on it. I think the Whirlpool or um, it's just great. I thought you guys might, y'all might like it. Let's see what kind of yarn we have here. This is in a DK weight and worked on a size seven. It comes in small, medium, and large sizes. So you could probably hit most of the people on your knitting list with this one, but it is absolutely beautiful. And then she says, get your knit game on. <laughs> and she says it's biased cable. Now, what does that, oh, so what that means is that to create those swirls, what she's doing is decreasing at one point and increasing at the other to make it spiral like that. So you are probably going to have to move your beginning of round as you are working this. So that'll make it a little bit tricky, but I am sure she explains it beautifully because she mentions it in the description on the Ravelry page. So that means that she acknowledges that this is something out of the ordinary and that she will walk you through it. So, and then finally, look at this. I mean, really, it's beautiful, beautiful color work. This one is called Off With Their Heads, Alice in Wonderland theme, anyone, absolutely beautiful. I'm obviously the queen of hearts, but the way that this color work comes together to make those hearts and then the kind of almost dizzying center absolutely beautiful and again this is another one that you're going to need to click through to see what the sides look like because they look almost like little um wickets like the wickets from um playing croquet so it's absolutely beautiful this is stranded color work i left it for last because it is probably the most complex um most likely it's one of those things where you got to run two strands of yarn at the same time but it is unbelievably worth it to create something this just beautiful let's see it is worsted weight on size six and seven so here a lot of times that's something you might be like hey i'm looking at a hat and it actually has two different uh needle sizes normally what that is is that the smaller needle size is what you're going to work the ribbing the brim on so it stays on your head and then you go up to the larger size to do the body so it has more of a movement and drape so that is probably i'm gonna guess what's going on here she has one she has a couple different sizes negative ease um size seven and she also has an optional pom-pom um, I'm glad she took this photograph so you could see the crown without the pom-pom because I love this crown. Uh, the pom-pom also is going to, you know, add just a little bit of fun. So this is Off With Their Heads by Faye Kennington. And remember, for all of these patterns, there are links in the description below to Ravelry where you can get your own copy if you want to knit one of these hats. Now, when I do these fave fives, if I have a pattern that I feel fits in with this theme, I will also show it to you. And I do, in fact, as you've seen, I love crowns. I have one that I want to show in. Here it is. I want to show you the picture of it to start with because I love this picture. This is from my book, Mosaic and Lace Knits. And this is, to frame it out, a top down so it starts at the center of the top and works down using the increases to create and this is doing color work and lace at the same time to create what i think is an amazing effect now this is slip stitch color work so you know you're only working with one strand of yarn at a time you knit two rounds in one color and then you knit two rounds in the other color. You just switch, the only place you switch the yarn is at the beginning of the round. And all of the color work effects are created simply by slipping stitches. So it's really not as hard as it looks. I also have the actual samples here to show you. So these, this is, it's called the Quattrofoil cap. 
Quatrefoil means four flower, four leaves. And so you've got the tops. This is what the top looks like. But I wanted to show you this. So this is the exact same pattern. It's just the only difference between the two is that you swapped colors A and B. So they get two drastically different effects depending on where you choose to put which color and this one comes in two different um, styles this is a beanie style so it's shorter and it's got the flip up brim and this is a uh, slouchy style and you can see it's got the super cool top so that is the quatrefoil hat it is available in my book mosaic and lace knits so those are my fave five hat crowns right now i hope that at least one of them piqued your interest um if you like this video please give it the thumbs up click that like button and if you would like to be notified whenever i upload a new video please subscribe to my channel and select notifications thank you so much